Jeff Schwartz, Giants offensive lineman with Armin in the back on 104.5. The team joins us every Tuesday at 5.15 in the best of Schwartzy today at 6.30. Thanks to our friends at McLean Food Service. Schwartz, you guys had the bye week last week, man. I know you went on vacation to the Bahamas. You and the wife, you spent some time at Atlantis. How was it, man? You feeling refreshed or what? Yeah, it was great. Uh, it was just what I needed. You know, I mean... You get 10 weeks of the season plus four or five of the preseason, so it was definitely needed. It was nice to rest and relax. I didn't watch much football on Sunday. I was flying, so it was nice to kind of take a complete break from football. And uh, I'm ready to go. You know, we got Washington Sunday, so big game, and uh, it'll be fun. Good break for your ankle as well. Good, 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 good relaxation. You feeling good? Oh, yeah. I mean, anytime you can get a week off, Will help any injury. Uh, I'm not. I'm not injured, but you know it'll help. It'll help any you know you know any ailment in the body. So I'm telling you, we practiced yesterday. It felt good. They all practice tomorrow. So uh, I'm kind of back on the normal routine now. Drama free vacation. Yes. No sitter. No sitter leaving. Uh, it was great. We we didn't bring a sitter. It actually was a lot of fun. I I kind of liked it better like this. We got to spend a lot of time with. With a little guy, we took him to the water park, to the aquarium, to the beach. You know, we did all that fun stuff. And we just had a sitter that we hired through the resort to come at night so my wife and I could go out to dinner, gamble a little bit, and uh, just enjoy ourselves before, uh, you know, before we had to come back. All right, so here's now we're back. Have you watched the skins on film yet? I watched a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously yesterday we were in, uh, and I watched a little bit this morning. They're playing well. Uh, you know, they're not a complicated defense, but they got some good parts. And they play hard. They play physical. And, uh, you know, the score last week kind of got out of hand, but they played them tough for a while. They had kind of a call that didn't go their way, and it made the score uh, look a lot worse than it really was. What makes them so good? Uh, you know, they, they got stomped, obviously, by the Panthers. But when you look at their, their positives, you know, the record would tell you uh, that they're better than the, what was that, 30-point? Beat down twenty eight point beat yeah, down beat down against the Panthers. What what do you yeah. take from film where you say, Oh, we gotta watch out for this? Well, I think they do a good job stopping the run first and foremost. Got some big bodies in there with uh, you know, Knighton in, at the nose and Baker's playing really well right now. Uh, they moved him into the starting lineup a couple of weeks ago and you got Hatcher over on the left side who's a veteran and you know, he Pro Bowl caliber player, so they got a lot of guys up front that can stop the run and also rush the passer when you can have guys do both. Um, you know, that's obviously something you have to prepare for. And they're just playing well as a unit. You know, you can watch film and see guys, in the, you know, fit in the right gaps, making plays. You can tell when teams are kind of playing together and, and their defense is playing uh, well together. All right, so what offensive line is going to be out there to stop them, Schwartz? Hopefully everyone. Uh, I don't really know Weston's status right now. I hope he's back. Obviously, he's a, he's a great player and a leader of our unit. Uh, it'd be great to have him back. Uh, Dallas filled in well, though, so we don't have Weston this week. Uh, we have full faith in Dallas. He's been in the league a while, and he's a guy that, you know, you're lucky to have a guy like him that can come in and just, you know, we can we can still run our offense with him in there. A lot of teams don't have the luxury of bringing in a backup center who can who can be competent and, and do his job. And I think we'll have Pew back this week. I know he's battling, so, you know, those symptoms and, and those take, you know, take time and they run their course, but we're open to have him back and uh, we'll be ready to roll. Giants offensive lineman Jeff Schwartz, thanks to McLean Food Service with Armin in the back on 104.5, the team. With both the Redskins and Eagles losing this past weekend, what kind of opportunity do you guys have this weekend to really separate yourself within the division? Great opportunity when you play division games, you win division games, and you know counts almost as two wins. So we know, you know what our task is to hand this week. If we if we win, you know we get a two game lead in our division, which is huge. This time here with five games left, we'll be out here after Washington, of course. So we know the stakes. We just have to go out and do it. Hakeem Nix returns this week. What does he bring to the offense? He brings another weapon. Obviously, he's played with Eli for a while. I think he, him and Eli have the most uh, receptions, you know, with anyone on the roster. So, uh, I think actually Eli might have the most receptions, uh, or throw, whatever, having on it, with the key next in their career. So, that's good. So, obviously, he brings, you know, familiarity. Uh, having another weapon uh, is always great in our offense. You never have too many of them. So, hopefully, he just you know, can bring a little bit more to our offense. And looking forward to seeing him. But, you know, I, I wasn't here when he was here, so... 
I really don't know much about him, but I just kind of hear the you know the guys around the facility talk about him. And he'll be a great addition to our team. Giants offensive lineman Jeff Schwartz. Thanks to McLean Food Service and Schwartz. Our show today has uh, been greatly dictated about the poor calls made by the referees last night in the Monday night football game. From your perspective on the field as a player, can you give us a grasp or an idea of, of your take on the difficult job or what makes the job difficult for referees at the NFL level? The game is fast. Uh, I mean, it's super fast. Uh, I don't think it's, <laughs> it's easy for people to sit at home, you know, when they show a slow-mo replay and say, oh, the ref screwed this one up. But the game is not played in slow motion. It's played in real time. Uh, we're fast. We're physical. Uh, things happen that takes a second for the brain to process, you know, even for us up front, for referees. And, and they're going to make mistakes. Obviously, some mistakes have been made this year in high-profile games. You know, if, if this mistakes are, are made on a Sunday at 1 o'clock game, they might not get as much pub as, as uh, you know, might have football. Everyone's watching, and mistakes get magnified. What is the solution? Do we, do we get more refs out there, put them in different places, full-time refs? How do we fix this? I've seen people suggest full-time refs. I don't think we need any more refs. I know you mentioned that. I think full time refs. I don't know. I mean, I feel like maybe making the you know, rule book a little bit easier to read, or you know, maybe we can figure out what a catch really is. Uh, that might help a little bit. You know, inadvertent whistle. I don't know. I mean, what do you do to stop that? That's just a mistake that happens. So maybe that's the answer to this: is making the refs you know full time employees. Why do you say not more refs? Is the field just already too crowded? Yeah, I mean, we have what eight refs. So they move umpire now in the back and. And I just, where are you going to put them? They have three guys in the back. You have two guys on the side and two guys in the back. So I guess that's seven. But where are you going to put another referee in the middle, another guy in the middle of the field? They took him away out of there because of, of safety concerns. So I just don't know, you know, adding an extra ref, what's that going to, what, what call is that going to help? It's not going to help. Uh, what, what's a catch? <laughs> you know, that's a review. That's the thing that's reviewed. So. I don't think adding extra refs will help very much. Schwartz, what if we strapped him to that big old spider cam up top and he just rolled around with that thing the whole time, always <laughs> in the perfect view? That's a, Yeah, that's a great thing. Um, I mean, I don't know. I think that, like I said, a lot of mistakes have been made in big games this year on national TV and with our you know, day and age of social media and everyone wants to start you know, a, a bomb. I mean, it's going to... This is going to happen. They're going to get scrutiny, just like we get scrutiny now, more than we ever have because of social media. Jav Schwartz, Giants offensive lineman, thanks to McLean Food Service with Armin and LeVac, 104.5, the team. And Schwartzy, our producer, Gaz, found on Twitter a young lady who sent a tweet to Victor Cruz, and she said, thank you, Victor Cruz, for letting me get an autograph. And the photo is a picture of you that was autographed by Victor Cruz. Are you offended or are you honored? I, I don't know if I'm offended. I'm, I'm not honored because obviously that person had no idea pretty much who I was. I just think that's, that's just hilarious that they just, you know, just they're so excited for Victor's signature they didn't even care what over whose face it was on. Yeah. I mean, you look really good with Vic's signature on top. That's good. Maybe I'll ask Vic to sign my jersey or something if you wear it on Sunday. <laughs> Schwartz, we, uh, I just saw on TMZ that uh, Steve Tisch, one of the owners of the Giants, says he, he gives out about $20,000 uh, a player worth of Christmas presents. What do you get from Tisch every Christmas? I don't know. I was not around I was not around last Christmas. I was already back in Charlotte, so I have no idea. You didn't get. Uh, he didn't send they it didn't, to you. They didn't mail you a Christmas gift. That's some BS. I don't remember. I I don't know well, you, if I got a Christmas gift. I mean, we've gotten stuff from them before. When we had when we had Alex, uh, they sent us like a gift a gift package. Uh, you guys have they have a, a towel for him. We still use it every night. New York Giants towel. Oh, you're selling. They yeah. sent us, I think, a, a robe for Alex. So I mean, they do great things like that. I, I honestly don't remember if I got a Christmas gift or not because I wasn't in town. I wasn't at the holiday party. I've already gone back home after my surgery. Are you saying that you get so many $20,000 plus gifts because you're so famous that you just don't notice? Oh, wait, each gift is $20,000 or <laughs> a total of No, no, 20000 $20, a player. Each gift is worth 20000 a player. Probably would have recognized if I got that. <laughs> yeah, are you uh, driving it? I mean, that's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I didn't get that. 
Maybe he meant like Super Bowl rings. They pay. That's how much they, a Super Bowl ring costs. Yeah, well, I have no idea. Well, bro, it's been a minute. I mean, no, I, I like, and I like and Mr. Tish is awesome. Uh, we actually, fun fact, we have the same rabbi in Los Angeles. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is a fun fact. That's it's, very fun. It's, it's, it's rabbi. His rabbi married me three days before I signed with the Giants. Wow. Random, random, random observation. Random fact. Well, huh. get with this rabbi and get with Mr. Tish and find out what you guys uh, get for Christmas. Maybe you'll actually recognize it this year and then come back and report it to us. Yeah, I'm probably whiffed on it. Unless it's like in my locker somewhere. I have no <laughs> it's idea. It's still there. It's, it's just, a $20,000 yeah. $20, yeah. gift. Yeah, there's like a Rolex sitting in the back right. of Schwartz's locker. Or it's been there. Or just a stack of $20,000. <laughs> just like sitting in his locker. Giants offensive lineman Jeff Schwartz with our men in the back. Hey, congratulations on the uh, spread in the New York Post this week. You were featured and highlighted about uh, your Thanksgiving and what you cook up and your favorite dish. So everyone should check that out. NYPost.com. What are the Thanksgiving plans for you because last year you had over all the offensive linemen, all of their families. You're not going to go big or go home uh, that go that large this year, are you? No, we're not. We, um, my parents are in town, so they're going to go with Alex and Meredith to the parade in in the morning, and then we're just going to have a quiet Thanksgiving. I'm still going to fry up a turkey for the, for the family, and uh, my mom will make a couple sides. My wife will make. Her macaroni and some crescent rolls, and uh, we'll have a quiet Christmas. You know, hopefully, watch the Panthers uh, beat the Cowboys. <laughs> well, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, man. Thank you. Same to you guys. Have a great Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, short. Is the, Thanksgiving is the best holiday. It revolves around food and football and family. I mean, come on, what's better yeah. than that? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you take the family out of there, and it's perfect. <laughs> I think it's a good. It's a good time for family. You just watch football together, essentially, right? And eat, and you're really good at cooking, so I would understand why that would be your favorite. And you're large, yeah. so it all makes sense. I am large. Yeah. Yes, thank you for posing. And welcome. in charge, and in charge, yeah. yes. Yeah, and you look great with a Victor Cruz autograph on top of you. Jeff Schwartz, <laughs> Giants offensive lineman. Thanks to McLean Food Service. I will tweet that to you. Have a great game against the Redskins. Have a great Thanksgiving. We'll do it again next week. All right, thank you, guys. Take care.